What's up guys, it's Quicksilver here, and uh, I am down here in the nether again, working on the Blaze Farm. Hopefully we're going to finish that sucker up today. Um, have not really done much off camera here, but uh, I will show you one or two little things here. Um, the biggest thing, probably, that I did, I got tired of dealing with the gas, so what I've done down here is I've built kind of a box around the uh, area that we'll be working in. So it's going to be a hell of a lot harder for the gas to hit us. There, um, I don't know if you can see it, but like right around over here, there's kind of a hole underneath the nether fortress, like where there's a bridge or something, kind of like what we're on right now. And then, of course, under our feet here. So anytime a gas happens to spawn over here or over here, then they're able to get a good clean shot at us. So what I have done to try and keep that from happening, because it's really annoying to have to deal with those guys, is I've just built a box around here out of the nether brick that I've harvested kind of from what we're standing on. Um, also, I've kind of created my little steps down here, and what I'm going to do, I decided, I think at the end of the last video, I told you guys I wasn't sure where I wanted the kill room to be on this thing. Huh, of course, now I have the wall here, you can't really see it. Um, I'm actually going to build the kill room on... Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to build the kill room on... Well, facing this way, so we will walk into this thing from here. Yeah, see what I mean? Little jackass. Last thing I want is him shooting us and hitting uh, redstone. I hope I don't have to put a lid on this thing. That's going to be really annoying. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to have it facing the lava over here. This little brick. Yeah, see, look at those guys. That's annoying as hell. Um, actually, I can't just keep moving around. He's going to shoot all my stuff. But are you kidding me? Ah, oh, I don't have any uh, arrows on me. That's not acceptable. All right, let's go hide behind the sissy wall here and go get some arrows. All right, anyway, so that's really... I'm just going to ignore him. I'm going <laughs> to have my, my bridge. I've got something really cool planned for over here that's going to be really neat. Um, and then I've placed some dirt blocks in here just to represent... I always forget where I need to place my pistons, my sticky pistons for the blocker here, so that we can stop the gas from dropping in. So I have placed, at least in the interim, I've placed a couple of dirt blocks in place so that we know where we need to place things. And, man, I can't believe I didn't have any arrows on me, guys. That's really... That's a crime in the nether, isn't it? I guess I'm kind of running low on them, so... Yeah, 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 you missed. You missed, too. Okay. Let's see if we can just get down here and ignore them. Holy crap! Yeah, I built a wall to keep them out of here, and what, there's four of them around here now? I put... Okay, there's one. I didn't really want to deal with you guys, but I don't want to have you ruining my videos either, so there we go. We'll see. Hopefully that will, uh take care of them at least enough that we can get some work done. So, okay. So, the trick with this thing is uh, we have to have this all two blocks back. We're going to put some glass blocks in front of these sticky pistons here. And the reason we're going to do that is because uh, since they're, they would be, they'll be glass blocks, they're not considered solid blocks by the game. So, if when we go to close this thing, we actually accidentally get a blaze trapped in it, we're not going to kill him or do any damage to him. And yes, we want to do damage to these guys eventually, but not right out of the gate because the bottom line is we want to make sure that they're as complete as possible so that when we do the crusher, we're just injuring them, we're not actually killing them. So that is going to be our little holding area. We will hit a, we'll, we'll pop a lever that will be over here someplace. Let's get these out of the way. A tidy workplace is a safe workplace, right? Oh man, I meant to put like an OSHA sign for you guys. There have been X amount of deaths since this date. Anyway, no matter. Um, we'll actually be a little bit lower down in this thing when we're actually doing the kill, kill chamber. So we'll hit a lever, and when we do, it's going to activate these pistons that we just threw in place. It's going to push these two glass blocks over to here, this one in, and this one in, so it will completely close this off so that the blaze can drop down here and collect but they'll be separate from the ones that we're actually killing underneath the glass. And the reason that's important is because we want to make sure that um, the ones that we're killing underneath the glass uh, are full health or as close to full health as possible so that when we hit our crusher, which are the two pistons that I'm going to place here and here, yeah, so that when we, uh, when we crush the blaze, they're actually they're full health and they're not going to die on us uh, before we're ready ha to have them die. We want to be the ones to actually do the... Uh, the killing blow so that we can get full credit for the, uh, the XP that they're going to dump out. So, um, alright, I think I still, again, I think it's two blocks back. I want to place these two pistons, then 
those two, yeah, that's right, because these are going to be our piston pushers to move the blaze forward so that we can crush them and they can't hang out back here and stay uncrushed. And then it's also going to be uh, going to uh, push their loot forward when they drop their blaze rods and all that good stuff that we are going to use for fuel sources. So, and I'm going to do four of those because the blaze are going to be two blocks high and I don't want to crush them. I just want to move them forward and where these guys can crush them. So, alrighty, that is that. Now, I think what I'm going to do here, guys, is I think I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to try and do all this in real time. So this is going to be interesting. You'll see all my little glaring screw-ups and all and whatnot. Um, I think I'm going to actually try and place all of my redstone. I'm going to do this thing in sections. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make sure that we are, oops, that we are, uh, can, that we, um, well, let me try this again. <laughs> I'm going to build this in uh, in pieces so that we can make sure that we're controlling each thing individually. And I know the redstone, as Ethan mentions in his tutorial, if you guys are following along with it, and again, I'll include the uh, link to it in the description like I've been doing all along. Um, I know where this piston is. we got to make sure that we're bringing our redstone up above to get it around to the other uh, pusher piston here. Because, oh, hello. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the good news is I've also been collecting some more quartz for another project that I have in mind. So, uh, yeah, more on that later, but um, it was, at least if I remember to tell you about it, it'll be more on it later. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've, I've gotten kind of familiar with the landscape around here now, down here, so I know how to get out of little pits and holes like that. Um, yeah, let's, um, well, crap. I should have just completely closed this whole thing off. That was dumb. Um... Oh good. All right. Well, good. That's that works for that. Consider it closed off there. Okay. So I'm trying to think. What we want to be able to do, and what's important is we want to be able that when we hit the lever, that's going to make the glass close off. A couple seconds later, we're going to want the pushers to push everything forward. So I am going to link all this stuff together. Um, we want to go up over that one. So here here and here and then I'll carry this back here again I guess oh, I see you Mr. Uh, Mr. Gast and yes I'm being a little bit of a coward guys because I don't god damn it <laughs> because I really like to fall <laughs> I'm being a little bit of a coward because you saw I only have eight arrows left down here in the nether and I don't feel like going back up and getting more of them so oh man alright I'll tell you what I'm going to probably attract that guy when I do this but I'm going to run over here and grab some uh, some more blocks so that we can fill in the uh, the hole down there. Oh, hello. I can't tell. I should get rid of this lava. One of these days I'll do that. I'm just lazy. Actually, I probably won't do it because when I'm all done with this, we will not be coming up to the blaze this way anymore. We probably won't even be coming up to the nether fortress this way anymore uh, because I will have a really epically cool way to get down here. <coughs> yeah, if you... I don't want to talk too much about it, but I am pretty excited about uh, an upcoming project I'm going to do here. Um, some of which, because it's just going to be an aesthetic thing, I might do off camera. I don't know that uh, it's going to do much in the way of what, you know, I'm going to here. This is just smart. Let's uh, throw a little sissy bar up here, not to keep the mobs out, but to keep me from falling off the edge. So, as fun as that is. This is Minecraft. It's not bungee jumping 101 or anything like that. So, all right. Um, if I have, yeah, I think we're probably fine just to do this because I'm going to have redstone wiring on that. But I don't think it's anything that we need to worry about powering up or anything like that. Um, yeah, all right. <coughs> um, yeah, I know I said I was going to work in pieces, but because I'm back here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I think I want to have, I think Etho does this too. And I'm going to go ahead and do it because it can't hurt to do, uh, to have a little extra pushing power there. So now I've just got to figure out where do I want to put my, seriously? Good lord. Those guys are so annoying, man. It makes me want to just work in peaceful mode, but I know I told you guys I don't do that and I felt kind of guilty last time last video going in peaceful just to show you guys some stuff uh, come on man where where is he oh that guy oh yeah hide behind the hide behind the nether rack up there I see how it is 
Okay, um... Man, so annoying. Okay, so this is the center of our trap right here, so our kill room is going to be... Let's see, where are we going to want to kill these guys? I guess they're going to fall down here. They're going to get crushed here, so we're going to stand right around here-ish to kill them. So I think I can put a little bit of a wall right here. Let me put it this way. I'm going to put a little bit of a wall right here. And then... Hmm. I guess I'll put it right here as well. I should fill that in up there, but I'm too lazy. I, I might do it later, but I don't, it's not a big deal. I just don't want to have to worry about having uh, having um, zombie pigmen spawn in there, because that would be really, really, really annoying. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then I think I'm going to throw... I might regret this move now, because I'll be wasting it, but throw some glass in there. I do have some more glass down here with me, guys, so that's no big deal. But that's my last, my last two pieces. Blades will fall here. They get crushed by that piston right there and there. Or no, right there and there. Am I going to be too far back to kill him? I will figure it out later. Um, yeah, so now I think I want to dig this down a little bit here. At least just for now, I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, there we go. Isn't that fun? Oh, good, I have five another brick. I can ignore that piece. Okay. Alrighty now, guys. So I'm going to, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get up on top of this thing now. And I guess start. Well, let's figure out where we're going to put our lever. That might make sense, huh? Get some sticks here, and that, and that, and pick those back up. Alrighty. <coughs> so, if we're going to stand here to kill him, let's throw our lever, I guess, on a wall there to close the trap off. Eh, that's a little too close. I don't like that that close. Let's move that back a block. Sorry guys, like I said, you're going to see me working a little au naturel today, I think, because no, that doesn't mean I'm recording in the nude. Hope that doesn't let anyone down. If it does, it kind of creeps me out a bit. So if we're standing here, yeah, let's move that back, that lever back one. If we have to run a little bit to turn things on and off, not a big deal, right? Alright, so that's going to be that. So we're going to run our redstone wiring up here, and I think because of things. <laughs> That's nice and vague, right? I think because of things. I'm just going to do this with it. I'm going to run that here, 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 here. Make sure that works. That should... That does absolutely nothing. What did I do wrong? Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> why doesn't that work? Well, it's not being powered right. That's why. You know, that's the thing. I think one of the things that I like about Minecraft, usually, at least about redstone, usually if something's not working, there's a really good reason. There we go. And nine times out of ten, it's because the uh, the guy in charge, in this case me, did something really dumb. So, all right. So, well, that powers these two pistons here in the front. Then I'll carry this up and over. And I think, oh, man, I can't get to it. Well, let's see if we can run around behind it. We will get around back, around back here. Oh man! Oh, go away, dude. Get a hobby. Get a girlfriend, something. All right. Um. Ah, that'll actually be helpful there. Let's see if we can carry this around. I don't know. I think our signal's going to start to get lost here pretty soon. Um, as long as I can get it over to this one piston, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Although I do still have to pull it around to the back for the uh, pushers. Okay, so there we go. So that should mean that the glass is completely closed off down here. Man, that was a little spooky. So that, yeah, you can see the one, two, three, four glass panes right there. So that is our blocker in place so that the uh, blaze will not drop down here <coughs> and be damaged or mingle in with the damaged blaze. Oh my god. Yeah, really. Okay, so that is that. Um, I think... I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get this signal down here. Really? You're such a dick. Die. Oh, that was a waste and I knew it when I shot the arrow. Yeah, my only fear is I don't want that, those guys shooting the, the redstone. That was really the impetus for me building that, uh, 
that, um, yeah, <laughs> that's really the reason that I built these walls to begin with. I'm not really too worried about getting killed by those guys. I mean, although it's annoying, it's not the end of the world. Um, and God knows I've been killed a bunch of times by them since I've been here. Okay, good. All right, sweet. Everything reached. Doesn't sound like that a-hole killed anything important here. Let's check this out now. All right, excellent. There's a nice little delay on that. So when we pop this lever, what happens... Now, oh, hell, I'm going to get in here and be able to show you. When we pop that lever, this glass gets pushed over, this glass gets pushed over, and then these two glasses, or pieces of glass, get pushed forward. So this gets completely blocked off here. And then after the delays on that are on those uh, redstone repeaters back here, I probably don't need all of them, but it's just going to be safer. Then these blocks get shoved forward, and that's our piston pusher, so that's going to push all the blades that drop down in here right here into this little 2x2x1 two by, two by two by deep area. And then the next thing we'll build, a little diabolical contraption, we'll throw the button over here, uh, is going to be the crusher. And for that, I may need to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to go ahead and block this off, because we don't need that anymore. We don't want to let the blaze out, that's for damn sure. And I'm going to do this as well here. So we have a nice little kill box now for those guys. Um, yeah, here I'll show you here. Dink, dink. So that's what happens. So you can see we can't get up there where the blaze are going to be spawning and still dropping down, and then this gets shoved forward. So life is pretty damn groovy there, and then when we pop it back open, that puts pulled back, so some blaze will drop on top of that, but that's no big deal, because when it gets pulled back in, they'll fall back down where they belong on this little 2x2 two two pad here. So... What's next? I guess what's next is i got to figure out how I want to wire up the crusher unit here. So let's go ahead, just for symmetry purposes, I'm going to throw that in here. And then I'm going to go get some more materials because I am dangerously low on redstone. Oh my god. I'm going to box this whole thing in on the top too, maybe while I'm AFK, because I can't have him shoot in, into this redstone. That's important that he doesn't. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get some more materials going here. I can at least throw a button in here. I like using the wooden buttons. They're a little slower than the stone buttons. I think I've mentioned that to you guys before, but I do like the way they look. They stand out, whoops, they stand out really contrasty, as much as something can be here in the nether, uh, on that stone brick. So they're easy to spot when you want to use them. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tear out some of, hello, some of this. Man, I didn't think I was this low but apparently I am. So, alright, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tear out some more of this. I'm going to get some more needed materials so that we can, really, so that we can get this stuff cooked up here. Alright guys, so I just checked the length of this video and we're getting kind of long, but I'm going to power through this today anyway. So, I'll try and keep this a little quick. I did a little off-camera digging here just to get my uh, space laid out here. Um, in checking out, I actually have just posted, or just posted, I just added a link to, uh, I guess, what Mumbo Jumbo has set up for uh, his quickie blaze crusher, I think is what he called it. But anyway, um, yeah, here's it, it takes up a 3x6 area, so it's a really small little timer comparatively. I've modified it a little bit so that I could make sure we uh, actually go into the, uh, we're actually going to go into the block that we need to to be able to wire our button remotely. Uh, we may sacrifice a little bit of the crusher hits, but I think for the decrease in size that's needed for it, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. So, um, yeah, I think I think the the, uh, the sacrifice is worth it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, all right, um, so what I've done here, just so you know, is when you hit that button, it's going to power this redstone, which will depower this torch, depowering this line, and then powering this torch. So that's going to be our power source for this whole timer. Uh, so the way that we want to get this thing set up, and this is going to be our output area right here, so I may have to, uh, actually, you know what, let's move this right now, because I may have to monkey around with this stuff, and uh, I'd rather not do it off camera. Oh, you know what, uh, we'll do it like this. There we go. There, now we can power that the same way that we were before, and life should be good. Okay, so... This is our uh, signal here. Now what we are going to do is we're going to use the comparator trick to make our timer here. So we're going to do three of those guys. Then, ah, get out of your stake. Don't need you right now. We'll do that. A redstone dusk is here, here, and here, I believe. And then we're going to throw down two more comparators here. And then a block here. I'm going to throw a block here as well, just because that's how it was in uh, 
what I was looking at and then here we need to throw down a redstone repeater on four delay there um, block here I'm not really sure why he's done that but I'm not gonna argue with it I'm just gonna go with it another redstone repeater here and another redstone repeater here and another block here now if we've done everything correctly this block right here should be our output so what I would like to do on the perfect world, and I may have to move this over a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually dig this stuff around a little bit more because I think I'm going to end up with some redstone wiring issues. I'm going to do that off camera so I don't waste any time. Be right back. Okay, guys, so a little bit of a progressy kind of report thing here. Actually, hang on a second because this is really kind of obnoxious. Okay, hopefully it wasn't for you guys. Um, the button is wired up. That's our crusher hangs out for about, I think it's uh, between 13 and 14 seconds, and then it'll retract on its own. Da, 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 da. There we go. So let me show you what I've done here. You've seen kind of the bulk of the build. It looks a little more complicated back here than it actually is, just because in order to make the, sure the redstone wasn't cross-wiring, I did really dig out a hell of a lot more than I thought I was going to have to. So um, it doesn't need to be this complicated, but that's how it is, and that's how it works for me. So this is our input signal from our button, which wraps around to here. Then I needed to invert the signal that goes into our timer here, just because of the, the way that I have the button removed from it. So I've got this on, this is our line, this is our same power source that we had before that is going to be powering this thing, turn it, determining whether the timer is going on or off. This is our same output as we had before. So really from here, nothing's really happened except I have dug out some stuff so I can move the redstone wiring to come in from this side instead of coming in from right here. So it's not as compact, but it keeps our redstone wiring here from having to, to cross wire. So we bring it over here, we bring it down a little flight of steps, around a, tor a turn through this redstone repeater, which then turns this vertical wiring on, off rather, that turns this on, and this just happens to be our piston crusher. So unlike in Etho's design, where I think he had to do a little bit more creativity with how he wired this around, we're able to just use vertical wiring to power this one up, and that is what's going to power our piston. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig underneath our trap, over this way and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll just take the the signal off of probably off of this torch and wire it up and under the piston on the other side. So again because we're running long I'm going to do that off camera but uh, I will be right back and show you the really at that point pretty much the finished blaze farm except for keeping them from being able to get out and kill us. So I'll be right back. Okay guys so uh, hopefully the, bla the uh, gas will let us talk here but um, yeah this was actually a little easier to wire up than I kind of thought it was. Um, I can't really see it from here but once I punched through on the other side here, I actually just dug into here, um, it became pretty quick to realize that's the piston that's going to be our crusher. So all I did was take the signal coming off of our redstone torch down here that's already in an on state and just kind of stepped it up over here to depower the block that's, uh, or to power the block that's two blocks below the crusher so that we could depower a piston that's on top of it. So now when we hit this button, we get our crusher that goes in there and it hangs out for 14 seconds, like I said, whatever it is, and then they retract, so that should make our blaze one hit kills at that point. Um, then this still works, nothing cross wires or miss wires or anything like that. So that means at this point our redstone work here is done. We don't have to worry about uh, anything that I just built, messing up anything that was already built in there. And uh, yeah, we should be good. So at this point, all I have to do is some cleanup. And the only thing that might be a little tough to clean up is right here. This is the blaze, the kill floor right here. And this specifically, these two blocks, these two air blocks rather that are right here um, is going to be where they're crushed. The only place where I have a little bit of a challenge is going to be right here. If I put a full block here, I'm going to cut that redstone signal. So I think I, I'm pretty sure you can make uh, another brick half slabs. Of course, I don't have a crafting table with me, so I'm just going to build one really fast. And that's going to be our solution to that because the half slabs will not transmit power or cut power. So if I'm right and I can do this, excellent. Then we should be able to throw this in here. And I'll go ahead and just throw another one there just to make it uh, consistent. Not that it really matters much either way. Um, okay, I thought I put my another brick back down here. I'm cracking up, guys. So now I'll check it again to make sure everything still works. Yep, good. We're still crushing, and that's the important thing. Um, don't really care too well. I guess I care about the other stuff, but it should still be working. So that's that. That's that, which makes me happy. So there's our blocker. The blaze can't get down here anymore from above. So life should be good. Yeah, I will put, um, I guess I'll put my glass blocks back in 
where are we going to kill these uh, guys? Right here's the crush there, so I think I can actually move forward another block here. But yeah, I'll clean this area up down here and let you guys see it. I'll tear out the dirt blocks from above. Um, I'm not going to worry about showing you guys showing you guys me doing that because it's just going to be a festival of me getting killed a whole bunch. And since this is already going to be a long video, I will spare you guys that. But yeah, um, looks like everything is working the way it needs to, so I'm going to go ahead and get it all cleaned up, and we'll fire this sucker up and give it a quick test. All right, guys, so here we are back in here. Um, I have finished out the entire farm, kind of boxed it in a little nicely. Um, I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, just to let you know, I, obviously I did die a bunch. I'm level 1 right now. Um, but uh, just to give you an idea, I came back here to the blaze, or came down here, rather, to the blaze farm, uh, went AFK for five minutes with no blaze in the trap, and now if we hit F3 and we check the E value in here, it's telling us there are 52 blaze in here. So yeah, we're getting about 10 a minute is the rough estimate. They are not, whoops, that was stupid. They're not one hit kills. They are two hit kills, about that, which I think is more than acceptable. Unfortunately, the crusher is probably going to kill a few of them. Um, the only nice thing, I guess maybe this is something, I don't know if this is what something Mojang did or it's just the way my computer reacts, these things are louder than hell, guys. I can't, st honestly, I don't like Blaze Farms because of the noise factor, but they are great XP, and obviously the sources that they drop for the, uh, the Blaze Rods are very handy. Um, usually when you run a crusher on them, if you have not a lot of them in here, it's exceptionally loud, which is really obnoxious as well. Um... But it seems like when you have a ton of them in here that, uh, first, I don't know if the sounds overlap, and that's actually what I was getting at. I don't know if it's a Java thing, if Mojang just decided, you know what, if you have a lot of mobs, you probably don't want to hear them. But it gets so much quieter in here that it's great. So there we go. We are level 24. And that's uh, in a five-minute wait period. The only other thing I may still need to work out is that loot is all pushed forward. This is the only way I can actually get in there to get those, some of those uh, last items that hang in the back. But then, uh, yeah, so that's what we've got there. Um, oh, I, one thing that's really important that I need to show you, actually. Um, actually, tell you what, let me turn the volume all the way down on these guys, because I don't want to hear them uh, while I'm trying to talk to you. There's one thing that I did when I built this that uh, was a little bit of a screw-up, and I think Etho might have actually covered it in his tutorial, but I just, when I was running the wiring here for the closing trap, or not the closing, but to close the trap so that the blaze that are up here spawning don't fall down in there, uh, I just ran redstone right over this block, which is totally fine to do, and it will work still if you do that. However, the block right above it is getting power on the inside of the trap from a repeater every time a blaze hits a pressure point so that this piston can shove him off into the, uh, the actual kill trap area. Um, which means if a blaze happens to fall and hit that spawning pad, it sends power not just to this block, but it actually, if there's redstone on here, it picks that signal up as well, which causes your... Uh, the closing trap basically to behave as if you just did that. So you'll see everything close and the pushers get pushed forward and then they put they retract. So it's a little bit annoying. Uh, the way that you can fix this is just throw a repeater in front of this block instead of running the redstone over it. And then on this side it was a little bit trickier. I had to actually widen my little protective box out one so that I could get this kind of configuration with my redstone. But again, it just the, the signal runs into that block instead of the redstone running over it for the same reason because any otherwise uh, you do run you run that uh, it, it's not really a problem it's just a little bit of annoyance because every time a blaze goes over top of that it's going to uh, make your your closer kind of kick in and like I said it's not really a problem because it doesn't stop the it stops the blaze momentarily from falling down but as soon as it retracts they're going to drop down here anyway uh, but it is a little annoying that it does that so I went ahead and fixed it uh, just because I want to be thorough with you guys uh, and let you know that it can be done and it, that's roughly how you do it. Um, Obviously, I'm not showing you the super details on that, but yeah, Blaze are nice because uh, for anybody who doesn't know, and I think uh, Mumbo covers it in his little chat about these guys, they uh, they drop double XP over a normal mob. So as you can see, I'm level 27 now, and it's just been the time that I've been chatting with you that I've gotten from level 1 to level 27. Um, other things, I, I opened this door down here. Oh, that's nice. Speaking of Blaze, I still haven't gotten any arrows, so I'm not going to go out there, but this is my exit to the nether itself. Um, what you're seeing there, the nether bricks, if you can see them, are actually the pillars that uh, support the bridges and all that good stuff in the nether fortress. And then back here I have this door. This is really just a uh, redstone access area so that we can get back here if we need to to look at things and see what's going on. 
Um, I Like I said, I probably will put a lid on this thing just because it is exposed, and if a gas decides to shoot down here, it would really, really piss me off. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, leave me a like if you like what you saw. Uh, subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Um, the only other thing, this is all temporary, the front of this thing. I plan to tear this out, like I mentioned, because there's uh, we'll make a bridge over the, uh, the lava down there so that we can get over here from the, um, I guess it's the minecart hub that's down here. But, um, yeah, and I, well, my thoughts for that, you know, I'm already giving my like and subscribe spiel, but since this is already long, what's another minute or two? My thoughts for that, I think what I'm going to do, and this might be what I do off camera, leave me a comment or something if you'd rather see me do it in the, the series itself. Uh, I think I'm going to build, like, a uh, the bridge itself. Oh, what hit me? Oh, I'm starving. That's what's hitting me. Uh, the bridge itself, I think I'm actually going to make out of uh, nether quartz, uh, the actual nether quartz blocks, and I'm going to try and make it look like it's a spinal column. I'm not really a you know metal fan kind of a guy, but... Uh, I know a lot of people that play Minecraft are really into the whole, hey, let's make this look like hell and make it really creepy and spooky. So I think that it would be pretty cool to have a bridge that looks like it's really a spine kind of going across that. And then I'm going to build a giant skull, and we're actually going to go across the spine and into the mouth to get into the Blaze Farm area. So that is my plan with that. Uh, I've got 29 levels. I think I'm going to go back up to the overworld and get some... Uh, Food going, yeah, as you can see, I've got 54 blaze rods from that, so that was pretty good. I'll bring those up to the, the overworld as well. But yeah, um, I'm really pleased with how that uh, has turned out. I think it looks pretty decent. It's not really too intrusive. My, the building that I'm going to build down here, I think probably will be, that's going to have the skull entrance I just mentioned. But uh, yeah, leave me a comment if you guys want to see me build that thing on camera. It's probably, if I do that, it's probably going to be a time lapse kind of a thing. Because uh, I've, I've built skulls before in, uh, oh man, I forgot, I've got to run back because my minecart is a damn pig man on the way down here who sent it backwards, so I just jumped out at the last minute. Anyway, <clears throat> I have built skulls before, like skull kind of pixel art before in uh, Worlds, and from experience what will happen is I will build kind of the rough shape and then I'll tear stuff out and put stuff in and tear more out and put more stuff in. It's kind of, it's a process where I'm kind of building for a while. So if that is something that you guys would like to see, leave me a comment, let me know, and uh, maybe I can do a time lapse of that or something so you guys can see it happen. Otherwise, in a few days, I may just uh, kind of build that uh, off camera or something and just show you guys the results and all that cool stuff. So um, that's the plan there. Let's see. Well, I guess while I'm making the run back and I haven't hung up yet, I say hung up. It's like I'm talking on the phone to you guys or something. That's weird, huh? Anyway, uh, other thing, I think I'm going to tear out my pig farm that I have uh, was so proud of, and I did, uh, I don't think I did a tutorial on that thing or anything, um, but uh, I was very pleased with it initially, but there's still some issues with it. The cells where the pigs are for the popcorn pig effect where you can feed the guys, um, there's still some issues where if you have a bunch of pigs in there, they can still get pushed back into the area where the water dispenses which doesn't kill them right away, but you can no longer access them to feed them and spawn pigs, and sometimes the baby pigs will back up in there too. So really, the only really effective way that I've found to use that thing is to... Yeah, where were you when I needed you? Um, the only really effective way that I've found to use that thing is to just have two pigs in there. Any more than that, you start running into the issues that I just described. Um, so I think... and I saw there was a, uh, a video, I think it was a Sumovoid did, where he had kind of a, I don't know, it's called a pig carousel, where you just have a whole bunch of them in water troughs that go around in a circle. Um, he had them so they would all just collect underneath, and he could then kill them on top of uh, on top of uh, hoppers using uh, a looting sword, which is a great way to get a lot of pork. But I think I want to kind of change it, and I'm not sure. I may wire it up. I, may, I'm, I think I'm still going to try and keep it right here, but I may need to move it which would really bum me out. But I'm going to see what I can do to keep it uh, where it is. And then I think when we have a lot of pigs, instead of having them um, instead of having them hang out in an area, I may have like a water stream or something above their head, kind of like what we do with the villager thing there, so that when the, when the uh, baby pigs grow up into adult pigs, they'll get picked up by a water source. And then we'll mob evade them up and over. And ideally, I would like to have them drop in the same cooker that we use for the cows. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen, how that's going to happen, or what the dealio is, or when I'm going to do it. But yeah, I'm really kind of excited about that. Yeah, you can actually, I don't know, you can kind of see there's one right now trapped, uh, a baby pig in there, trapped behind that fence post there. 
So it's kind of, like I said, it's, it, it's a functioning farm. It works. It's kind of a slow farm, but, you know, I do have 62 pork from it, so I guess it's not a complete failure. But, um, yeah, so those are the two big projects, I guess, because they're going to take some time, I think, to do both of them that uh, I'm kind of excited about. But, um, yeah, I guess in the meantime, I'm going to head over to the enchanting area, get rid of these 29 levels, probably kill a zombie or two in the up, upstairs, upstairs, upper world mob farm. And, um, yeah, I get that extra level. And so there you go. That's my spiel. I'm sticking to it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll do tell you again, if you liked what you saw, please like it. It does help me. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe to me, and I'll keep putting these things out, man. And I will catch you guys next time.